This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ifeolu Oshunkaye and Nimi Dekombi. What's hey poppin'? Guys. I'm good. How are you guys doing? I'm good. Blessed. Okay. So, um, moving on to the main story, Paul Okoye calls out the Nigerian Copyright Commission, accusing them of kidnap. In a now deleted Instagram post, Paul Okoye threatens the Nigerian Copyright Commission, saying, "Quote: I never knew the Nigerian." Copyright Commission, NCC, are kidnappers. They can detain and ask for bail. Dear NCC, I'm about to na 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 up for you guys. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> so, I mean, what he said, he cursed her basically. So, I don't know, but if I. All right, so first of all, yeah, I had to go to um, jurisdiction of the NCC. So, I checked some of their functions and I believe that will be coming up on the screen shortly. But it says this department is responsible for enforcing the Copyright Act. The act provides for criminal violation of the law. These are offenses which are punishable by terms of imprisonment in most cases. Any person who violates this provision will be investigated by the operatives of the commission called copyright inspectors. The copyright inspectors have power to inspect premises which they reasonably suspect are being used for the commission of an offense. Enter such premises, arrest the suspect, request the suspect to provide relevant pictures, data, or other information, cease pirated works, and prosecute the offenders. So I think it's also part of their job to make arrests because they are called the copyright enforcement agents do you understand those are the ones that can arrest so Peter Queen needs to let us know that okay what department came for wherever you're talking about because we don't even know the story but mm, okay. I think according to the law they have the power to do so but the bill part I do not know yeah I think for me what he posted was very very vague it's not we cannot conclude because what he said was just he just put up a post and the post he has already deleted it so we mm. don't know if he's the one who is having the copyright we don't know if he was the one they arrested or maybe somebody signed so or he was Instagramming from the bill. Maybe point. like I don't know. So the story is very, very vague and he has not come out to even say anything to even back up what he has said before. But I it took it off. I'm sure he got educated that okay, they actually have the power to do some of these things you're accusing them of and then he he he, he was woke and then he took it back. So he was woke. <laughs> but for what Nimi is saying, yeah, his yeah. post is actually really vague. He didn't tell us what happened, how you got oh, to that point. Affected. who is affected like there is no information but like if I has said though um, the SEC is broken into five different parts which is um, the enforcement prosecution administration public affairs planning research and statistics and finally finance and development um, department so they have um, different department for different reasons however different when they have to make an arrest they usually go with um, the police mm -hmm. because they don't have firearms mm -hmm. and all that and they need to be safe you know how things can get out of hand so yeah. um they have the right to arrest but now when they arrest i'm not quite sure if they have a place of holding for them mm -hmm. in the ncc or it's given the, um, the authorities think, like now handed over they go to with the, the police. police yeah, yeah. i'm saying According where the they way stay Paul even framed it he said he does not know if they have the right to kidnap mm -hmm. the so he's language accusing them itself, of kidnapping even, not necessarily even um, arrest arrest just right well we know the way um the enforcement agents are in this part of the world they kidnap, they kidnap you they don't arrest you oh, wow. so they, they come for you like 5 a.m 4 a.m <laughs> mm. do you understand mm -hmm. if that's not kidnapping what is it they don't give you a warrant of arrest yeah, exactly. and they just throw you yeah, into exactly. their boss mm. that's kidnapping mm. but we don't see it like we see it like okay it's it's normal but it's actually a violation of our human rights yeah and it, it also shows how dysfunctional the security systems in this country can be because looking at that that means that anybody apart from this policeman or this NCC people, anybody can just come up to your house and say, oh, we are from the police. You need to come with us. Without to the, no warrant without, no warrant, without, without anything. No warrant and you just search. go with them because you think that mm -hmm. they are police officers and they could be kidnappers. So I feel like what um, Paul has said should challenge the government to do and place proper structures so that Nigerians don't have to be scared for their lives. Because this is not the first time that people are having copyright issues. Mm -hmm. um, there was the Round Town, Round Town also had issues, and then Two Face and Black Face too. They've, all, they've also had, you know, these um, copyright oh, claims. That, that one that. is different from Polokoye's 
I mean, it's absolutely so different because I don't yeah. even, we don't even know where he's coming from, yeah, but we don't even fighting know what, um, what the issue is. Those ones, we know is, a, is. is an agreement, legal, tussle, and copyright yeah. for black face and two faces. Oh, you stole my work without giving me credit and blah, blah. We understand all that. If there's this a system one, that is even in place, understand. even prevents something like this from mm -hmm. happening, it would prevent all of this drama and all of this dragging on social media. Okay, well, we hope that he explains, or maybe, like you said, he has gotten woke and um, mm. apologized to whoever he needs to apologize to. Let's move on to Terry G, who says he's the Jesus of Nigerian music. In a recent interview, he said, I am the Jesus of Nigerian music. I am not the Christ. The Christ is the Savior. Jesus is a name. And for the fact that Jesus is the most popular name that died um, for us and sacrificed for us, it took me a while to take this risk that a lot of persons discriminated against me for and now they see people smoking doing stuff and nobody's talking there must be a pay sitter end of quote yeah mm. i don't understand where it's coming from mm. but but i don't really i don't really agree with this. i don't feel like he needs to well, he call himself, himself terry jesus as well mm. Mm. But that's G E Z U S, mm. not. The, but yeah. but his explanation makes sense. He said he's not the Christ. Christ is the Savior, mm. but Jesus is the most popular name. So it's like um, what's it called? A metaphor for somebody who sacrificed a lot for the entertainment industry or for a particular what did you trend. Sacrifice? No, for a particular. Let me don't. That's why I, I rephrased that for a particular trend in the entertainment industry. Because when Terry G was doing all his um, uh, Alanta, we're looking at him like ah this one. The crazy man, he rings the bell Street and all madness. of that. But now we see people doing Tishumole dance, and I personally wouldn't dance Tishumole. But when I see oh, you 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 dance Tishumole, no, because you are learning, that's why you you defensive about this. But at the end of the day, but there's nothing wrong with Tishumole. I have not I even personally. Oh, okay. I'm not saying there's what anything. Is wrong. Why do you think you don't want to dance Tishumole? Why do I think I don't? Because I don't have that energy to be jumping around. Okay, and now I'm too grown for that. Oh, wow. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> The, I'm Wait, the lay you, back. Man. No problem. I'm the lay back type, you know, rock you mm. little to the left, to the right. You know what anyway, I mean? Anyway, I don't agree so. with the part of sacrificing anything for mm. any. I mean, the only thing like I can say is Terry G came out and he was himself and he was unapologetic about it. And the people relate with him or to him, yes, they did. And it became a trend to an extent. But think, sacrificing, no, you were living your life and pushing your career. I think I understand where it's anything. coming from, though. I feel like during the time when Terry G was Terry G, mm -hmm. there was a lot of backlash to like who would say that, oh, how would our children be watching this kind of content? Who's going to listen to his music? Well, he is claiming that nobody. The, okay, he's saying there was backlash then. Yeah, like there's there no backlash, backlash now. But there's still, there still backlash now. now. But I but feel like people are more acceptable. accepting because we now have different artists who are actually like infusing that kind of street madness or bringing that kind of street madness vibe. When during his own time, he might have been the only one that was really at the forefront of that kind mm -hmm. of movement. So I understand where it's coming from. Where he says that he's Jesus, maybe it means like he's like the forerunner okay. or the pace setter, like he said. Setter, like mm -hmm. he said. I think that's just where it's coming from. All right, it's time for a very quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi. Like, woo! Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Ukaria Anunobi speaks on hygiene issues and being vindicated, sharing a footage of a journalist who uncovered a hygiene breach in three top hotels in Northeast um, China. She recounted her experience with a 
production assistant and a hotel cleaner. She said, and I quote, I made a post of how I physically witnessed a movie production assistant to use a toilet cleaning liquid to wash the plates. I asked him to wash for me and how I also saw a hotel cleaner in one of the hotels at Redeem Camp where I had gone for a retreat. Use the toilet brush to wash the glass cups. People said in comments that I had been economical with the truth. Isn't it great to have this video? Shame on naysayers always. End of quote. Okay. Honestly, when I watched the video, at first I wanted to give the people the toilet, the whole toilet brush thing. Benefit I wanted to give them a benefit of doubt that maybe it was a different mm. toilet brush that they used. Maybe they just used it maybe to make it faster. But then I watched the video and I saw that it was the same toilet. The brush that they used to wash the toilet is the same brush they used to wash the cup, the same cup, the same brush they used to wash the, you know, the basin. And I was like, okay, well, this is an issue that should bring up concerns because you don't know what goes on in these hotels. I'm going to an hotel to have a nice time. I'm going to an hotel to rest and do all that. I'm not expecting that when I'm leaving, I should be worried about my health because of the things that the hotel, um, the hotel workers are doing. So I wonder if there are regulations in these hotels because it's not just in China. Yeah, they, According they, to Nigeria, it happens video, in Nigeria. They, they, warned, they told them, I mean, they give them sanctions and um, fine. fine that fine. was not um, available to the public, but yeah, some has been done but I hope that is enough to make them do the right thing because like you said I'm going to a hotel to have a good time and in my head I kind of believe that okay everything there is neat and cool I can use it I know I have um, friends that are finicky about using the so well, they tell you they don't use so well in hotels. So when they're going, they have their own towels. But for me, I'm like, I mean, I, I want we have this. friends that steal the towels when you're leaving. I mean, we have both sides, right? <laughs> so I, I want the stress-free life. I don't want to go there and they still pack my personal belongings while checking into a hotel where I've paid good money for. Do you understand? Yeah. So, but bringing it back to what um, Eukarya was saying, she said the person used. Um, a toilet washing um, liquid to wash the plate Please. instead of a normal dishwashing, <laughs> um, um, what is, whatever it's called. So, uh, she also mentioned the person using, is it a toilet brush? Yeah, or toilet brush in Redeem Hotel. Okay. So, I know people were asking and saying, is it really wrong to use the um, toilet um, cleaning um, detergent when you know you're going to rinse it properly it's wrong it's wrong <laughs> I, I, I mean i needed us to emphasize it is how wrong, wrong it is yeah. you know because there are different chemicals in the dishwashing yeah. mm -hmm. liquid and the one that used for toilet i expect that the, the one, one that they use for, use for dishwashing they you can use it for the toilet if detergents. you want mm -hmm. they even advise right. that you shouldn't use detergent, detergent to wash your dishes. place mm -hmm. Do you because of so the chemicals that are inside the chemicals are they are not they are not the kind that you're that because some of the times when you wash this place you don't know sometimes you don't rinse it properly and there can still be sediments of these chemicals on the plate if you are using something as caustic as the ingredients that are found in detergents or the um, soaps that are used to wash mm. toilet then you are setting up yourself yeah. in health hazard yeah which is why they're saying it's okay for you to try to use the dishwasher to wash for your the toilet. toilet it's fine but it's not fine the to other way the around toilet, so yeah. and from what i saw there is an acid used in making those um things used for the toilet and the towels you know you can also use them for the towels as well because yeah. they are really strong and it's called hydrochloric acid like that's one of the active ingredients so that is like really strong mm -hmm. but when it comes to the dishwashers they use um, sodium carbonate which is basically salt and limestone yeah. together you get so please 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 if you maybe thought it is nice and okay it's just to foam maybe it's yeah. foam and let me wash it doesn't work like that because your water might not be able to really rinse it it's acid yeah. it's not just um, alkaline and all that and those chemicals are not supposed to be ingested into your body mm -hmm. so people should be careful okay so it's not just about hotels if you ask me sometimes you walk to restaurants very fancy mm. restaurants at that and then you don't even know what they're doing in the kitchen yeah. first of all some of them use the same pots that they use to cook certain things and they probably didn't wash it all day but because they're about to cook that same thing yeah. they'll use it again it's i've true. seen that happen before yeah, yeah. you understand like the person did not wash the pot that was used to make stew and i think that has been left the stew what's it gone <laughs> <laughs> you understand <laughs> they, they now poured 
what they wanted to use to cook jollof rice. So I can imagine the oh, fries man. that I patched on that. And I walked away from that place. Now, another thing is that um, you see a lot of people, you know, somebody posted something, I think, sometime last week, saying that... Um, just know that every time you walk into a restaurant, the utensils you use, like your fork and all of that, has been used by more than a thousand people. And that got me thinking, so I'm like, okay, so if I'm going to a restaurant now, but thank God for the plastic. So even when I go to a fancy restaurant and then you're about to give me a, 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 met, a stainless, I ask you, do you have plastic? Just do, do you have disposable spoons? Because I, I just have this mind state now, because at the end of the day, you see people with lots of germs in their mouth, bad dentists bad this, bad that, and they keep putting that same thing, and then I'm supposed to walk into that same restaurant and use that same fork. But well, I think this is why this type of reports, I'm not saying it's wrong, it's absolutely yeah. necessary, it becomes a cause for concern, like yeah. you said, because when you go to a certain places, you go to, go to certain places, you want to expect that they hold hygiene to a certain yeah, standard. Think, so I the kind of restaurant you're talking about now that has the cutlery setting and all that, we will want to hope and believe and believe that they, that they are washing it. So they don't even standard. wash. No, they just they wet do. it around and they wipe. They do. They I'm do. telling you, and they put it back. I Before, they they do. No, no, they I said, they, I'm not. I'm not generalizing. Mm. I'm saying that. Look, the same way. Okay, did you hear the the, the China um, reporter who uncovered this hotel mm -hmm. stuff? She said most of this. Um, hotel attendants that did this thing they said it's a constant rush they have a particular target okay maybe they tell you between 10 to 12 you have to clean like 12 rooms mm -hmm. 14 okay. rooms mm -hmm. so they're actually trying to rush they, it's not like they're not aware they're supposed to use a different van mm -hmm. but they're trying to because once it's 12 o'clock the, the hotel manager will probably walk up to them and be like you've just done four rooms do you understand that's mm -hmm. because you're trying to keep up so at the end of the day I think um, the slave labor should also be reduced, like mm, employ true. more yes. people to do certain jobs so that you can get the quality. It's about quality of service mm. and not the quantity of things they can do mm. in a short time. So at the end of the day, I, I would advise small, most restaurants to please have disposable cutlery. I'm paying a huge sum of money for my food. The least you can do for me is I make sure that I'm like safe. Disposable cutlery, like yeah, because I feel different. like disposable. No, they're strong ones. Okay, ex except they're strong ones. That's what I'm saying. Invest, invest in disposable cutleries. Do you understand? Do like, you think it's cheaper for them to invest in disposable cutleries um, as regards or against them having more hands? It's like not, you said, more hands to at least reduce the um, level of work they need to do and cheaper. ensure. Do you, do you know how much a pack of disposable cutleries are? The I ones you're talking cheaper. about that would be as it's comfortable. Cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. Okay, I don't, I don't know, but um, let's go on a quick break. Before we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Fifty Cent wins another five thousand dollars from Tiara Mari in sanctions battle. According to documents obtained by the Blast, she has been ordered to hand over the cash in sanctions and give the, and give Fifty Cent access to her financial records so Fifty can collect on the thirty thousand dollars she owes him in attorney fees. Mm. And it's our, we have this conversation. It just makes me laugh. Like, see how you just wake up and find trouble and fifty yeah. has time. Like he has all the old time in the world for you not to waste always, his time. He always settles his scores. So it's, mm -hmm. if you go against fifty, fifty would go against you with everything. Mm. With everything that he has. And um I think the reason why they asked that to pay an additional five thousand is because she has not paid the 
thirty thousand that she's supposed to yeah, pay. Yeah, she didn't show up. Yeah, she did not. The and then it was even it was even like that. Okay, you know that she earned hundred thousand US dollars last year. So why has she not paid him? That the fact that she said she was broke the last time they went to court, that excuse no longer holds. So why has she not paid him? the 30,000 US dollars that she's supposed to pay him. I mean, she sued him because of a video, a sexually explicit video, and she accused him of revenge porn, mm -hmm. and then he backed, her case was thrown out of court, mm -hmm. and now she has to pay 50 yes, cent, you yeah. know, the money. So I'm wondering why she has not done that. Doesn't she want to avoid drama and... Yeah, they, maybe they, because the drama keeps her in the news. True, maybe that's why. I wonder why she hasn't paid him. Well, the drama keeps her in the news, but it keeps breaking a bank, so... What's the what's the sense in that? Yeah. Secondly, um, this is what happens when you sell your life rights to somebody. Obviously, fifty cent will keep coming for you yeah. because it has a right to your life in the first place. So there's certain things that you won't even be able to do now. He knows everything about you. He has the right to ask for your bank records. Do you understand? Like everything you do, you need to know that okay, it's like selling your soul to the devil in this case. And then you you need to just pay up and let this go because. 30,000 plus 5,000, that's 35. That Another default, 40. And then this guy is not going to give up. 50 Cent will collect his money from what we know about 50 Cent. Hey. If you like, go 50 Cent, $5, he'll collect <laughs> he will collect it. Do you understand? He must collect it. And that's why he's a very good businessman, and that's why he's very successful as well at what he does. So I think um, Tierra should just do the needful. And if she's actually broke, then bring the bank records. Let us see that you're actually broke. Let us I give think he already has access to her financial records. That's why he's saying that he knows that she earned 100K. No, it's not, it's no, no, it's no, not no, legal. Just, she, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just now that. He just, he could, respect, he could put it in a way that seems speculative. Mm -hmm. So and he besides, might have it, a reality it but he can't come up She earned $100,000. You don't know if she bought a house. You don't know if she bought a car. How would you buy a house when you have this on ground? <sighs> No, like if she's saying she's broke, mm -hmm. like it's, it's allowed. People get money now and blow it, blow Boy, money first. She's a reality. She's she's a reality. They pay them and monthly. And she gets paid. No, that's um love and hip hop. I don't think she's still in love and hip hop. Is she still? No, she's still. She's still, she's still, still in the current yeah, oh, series okay. that they're going to. Yeah. So if you're making because money, go pay up your debt. And which is why I said she's probably just enjoying the attention right and now. Losing yeah. money. But of all people, lose, she how much is she losing exactly? If you have to lose that five thousand dollars to make way, way, way more, like okay, fine, let's be paying it and accumulating it. But I think that the wrongest person that you can want to have any dramatic thing with is 50 cents. Because yeah. 50 cents will drag you. He has time. He, he has your time. Mm -hmm. That's bully. He, exactly. He's bully. a bully. He's a bully. He just got it. Wait, who, who dragged him to court in this particular case? Who dragged him to court? She did. She was yeah. one who dragged him And he court. got there and he won. Yeah. I mean, so and this in this instance, I don't think he's bullied anyone. Yeah, maybe in this instance. Mm. But like knowing Generally. who 50 cents is, we know mm. that he's not going to let this one go. Definitely. He doesn't need to if he doesn't want to. Anyway, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my co anchors, Nimide Kombi and Ifeolu Washunkaye, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay with us.